So from start to finish, we're going to start with our ember generators, which we use to recreate a realistic ember exposure. Embers are those small burning and smoldering particles that may travel ahead of the fire front. And what we do with our generators, is we create the realistic exposure and in our wind tunnel, we're able to throw them at a building. And then we have a building that has two sides to it, a good side, which uses wildfire resistant construction and what we're considering a typical building that we would see in a wildfire prone area. Exactly as we expected, that mulch on the ground there caught fire from the embers. The fire from the mulch burned up under this, this deck and this whole deck was on fire. And so this fire on this deck caused flames right against the home. And then if we look there at the base of the door, there was actually the flames from this deck that burned through the bottom of the door. And on the inside of the house, we started to see smoke and flames. And so because this deck was a combustible material attached to the building, when the embers led to the ignition of this deck, we got flames inside of the building. Here we are on the wildfire resistant side of the house where we had non-combustible siding, a five foot non-combustible zone and six inch gap. We had a metal gutter and multi-pane windows. And we see in comparison to the non-wildfire resistant side, this side had the same ember exposure. If you look here in the mulch, you can actually see some of the embers that had accumulated, but because they had no susceptible fuel to ignite, they just landed there and fizzled out. Now here where we have ornamental vegetation, that again is susceptible to the embers, but because it's more than five feet away from the home, it didn't have enough energy to ignite and it never led to a flame impact on the building.